So how accurate is a DNA paternity test? Well, that's going to depend on the DNA that the father and child share. So in this example, here's the father's DNA and here's the child's DNA. Let's look at the first region. We're going to call it region A. The father is a six. The child is matching also a six. Oh, they match. Does that mean he's the father? Well, what if I said a third of Australians have type six? It's really common. Well, therefore, that's only a, maybe a 70% chance that he's the father. So what we do is look at another region. Now we look at region B. The father is a 10. The child is also a 10. Now, what if I said, well, this is really rare to get type 10. Only one in 100 Australians have type 10. Well, that accuracy might change from 70% to now 99.7. So the number of regions is important. If you keep testing more and more and more, that number gets higher and higher and higher. And here at DNA Solutions, we look at 24 regions. So by the time you got to the 24th region, you got a 99 point with a lot of nines at the end of it. Of course, the other option is if the father's a six and the child doesn't match, he's an eight. And in this region, he's a 10 and it's a two. If that's a scenario, then it's a 100% chance that this child is not the child of this father because they're not matching. So it's between 100% and 99 point with a lot of nines.